order on um, Monday, August the 20th, 2018. I want to welcome everyone. Uh, very glad to have with us tonight uh, Justin Keir, is that correct? International Gospel Outreach Church at 1101 Windy Hill, who will come forth this time, uh, give us our invocation, and also lead us in the place of flag. So, would everyone please rise? Heavenly Father, we do thank you for the opportunity that we have to gather here tonight uh, for this wonderful city of Smyrna, the men and women that are here in this room tonight, Father. We pray that you fill them with wisdom and discernment as they engage in discussion and conversations tonight and uh, at lead this meeting as you will. In your name we pray, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And for those folks that uh, are new in town or looking to change, uh, I'm sure the folks at uh, uh, International Gospel Outreach, which is located right at the intersection of Windy Hill and Atlanta Road, right under the underpass, are good folks. Agenda changes, we do not have any. Other than item A, we will table that issue under land issues, zonings, and annexations. Under the mayoral report, um, we have a proclamation in recognition of the Smyrna Little League 11 and under All-Stars 2018 regional champs. Uh, I'll ask Mr. Ron Fennell. I know we got a bunch of guys here and parents and coaches and folks that were really involved with, uh, with these kids. So, Ron, you want to... I do, and I want to recognize these young men properly. So when I call your name, if you'll come and stand in front facing the audience, I'd love to recognize you individually as we read you out. And uh, then we're going to get a group photograph. And one of those coaches is going to speak on behalf of the group unless you guys elect one of your own. All right. <clears throat> it's my honor to recognize tonight the City of Smyrna, a proclamation by the Mayor of the City of Smyrna in recognition of Smyrna Little League 11 and Under All-Stars. Whereas the members of the Smyrna Little League 11 and Under All-Stars enthusiastically participated in the 2018 baseball season and whereas the Smyrna Little League 11 and Under All-Stars traveled to Greenville, North Carolina to participate in the Tournament of State Champions and defeated the, the North Carolina team 15 to 4 on August 1st, 2018, to become regional champs, whereas it is fitting to celebrate and focus attention upon the Smyrna Little League 11 and under All-Stars and recognize their success. Whereas, we commend and congratulate the Smyrna Little League 11 and under All-Stars. Here's where I read your name. If you could come up and just line up as we read you up. Nicholas Donopoli. Vice Dozier. Benjamin Hamansky, Robert Hicks, Joel James, Alex Johns, Braden Lightsey, Connor Mason, Jordan Miller, Jackson Ramon, Peyton Robidoux, Deacon Smith, Kyle Wright. And our honorary all-star member of the team, Ryan Alicon. And here are the coaches that helped guide the team. Her Eric Hamansky, Jason Wright, Jabbar Dozier, and Eric Johns. This is the team that were successful in winning the 2018 state championship. Therefore, I, A, Max Bacon, Mayor of the City of Smyrna, hereby uh, proclaim August 20th, 2018 to, be, 18, to be Smyrna Little League 11 and under All-Star Day. And I urge the citizens of Smyrna to recognize and congratulate the All-Star team members and their coaches in witness whereof I have unto, hereunto signed my hand, caused the hand... <laughs> caused my hand and caused the seal of the city this morning to be affixed on the 20th day of August, A. Max Bacon, Jr., Mayor. Let's welcome and congratulate the highest achieving team in Smyrna Little League history.
Uh, so on behalf of this amazing group of kids and coaches and parents and grandparents and brothers and sisters, we'd like to first thank the mayor for having us out tonight, Mr. Fennell for setting this up for us. We appreciate that. And the rest of uh, the council, we really, really appreciate everything you've done for our city, for our boys, for our Smyrna Little League. Um, we went down there with a true passion to not only show how well we played baseball, but also more importantly to represent the city and to have pride in that jersey that was across our chest. And you would have been super proud of the way that these boys represented themselves, their families, and our city. So thank you very much for this awesome honor. And we will make sure to kind of carry it along with us through our years through Smyrna. So thank you. So, 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 so let me ask this. So these 11-year-olds, will they compete next year as uh, the same group that the 12-year-olds almost made it, didn't they, to yeah, so the 12-year-olds, they represented the city really well as well. They right. unfortunately didn't make it as far as our boys. Right. Um, but next year, hopefully this, all of these boys will play rec ball again. And then the process is, is through rec baseball, they'll have an opportunity to yeah. go through the all-star process. And as 12-year-olds, uh, if they make that all-star team, then we plan on going to Williamsport next year and missing a whole bunch of school. There you go. <laughs> Y'all very much. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. These so much. kids are winners. Let's thank yeah. them. Congratulations. Yeah. Job, I'll get a copy of the resolution for all the kids to make sure, and we'll communicate with you, Eric. Make sure, or, or DeBar, we'll get that to you. Thank you again. Thank this you. is a high-achieving team. Keep up the good work, man. Thank you thank for you. representing the all city right. of Smyrna. Right. Thanks, Ron, you, you sound like you should be at at uh, SunTrust announcing, getting folks fired up. So, And to the parents and the family, I, I know y'all are proud, and I, I, I think I see most folks are out there. Congratulations and thanks so much. Um, item B is the mayor's assignment of council committees. I've already handed those out tonight. There's really nothing to, um, uh, to bring up. Uh, item 4. Uh, land issues only is an annexation A 2018 270. It's a public hearing zoning request Z 18 01. Modifications of approved site plan and building elevation 61.88 acres. Land lots 61, 171, 172, 174, 175, 176, 289 Riverview Landing on Riverview Road between Nichols Drive and Dickerson Drive. Um, audit companies, this will be tabled until September the 17th, 2018. I will ask that Mr. Fennell um, take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We understand there's still some work to, to be uh, done on the application uh, for whatever modifications and changes to partnerships that might occur. So at the request of the applicant, I have moved that we table item 2018-270, public hearing uh, zoning request Z18-011, modification of the approved site plan and building elevations on 61.88 acres, land lot 61, 171, 172, 174, 175, 176, <coughs> 289, Riverview Landing on Riverview Road between Nichols Drive and Dickerson Drive from Ardent Comp Companies. Move to table. Motion second to table. All those in favor of the motion, please vote. That's approved uh, seven zero. It's the first time we've had seven folks voting in uh, almost uh, nine months. So, item B, uh, twenty eighteen dash two nine nine public hearing zoning request Z one eight dash zero one two approval of a special land use permit for a modular classroom building, eight point eight three acres land lot five ninety five, five ninety six and five ninety seven at thirty one thirty. Atlanta Road Covenant Christian School. Ms. Uh, Jones, the background, please. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everyone. Covenant Christian School is seeking a renewal of their special land use permit for use of a modular classroom building. The modular building will allow Covenant Christian School to provide additional classroom space while the school constructs a permanent school building on site. The building will be located along Collier Drive next to existing buildings. The current special land use permit was heard by the Planning and Zoning Board 
at the July 9th, 2018 meeting and was recommended for approval by a vote of seven to zero. Uh, community development recommends approval of the requested modular building with one condition. Rusty Martin, our senior planner, is here to provide more comments. Okay, uh, and this is in Ms. Tim Goo's district. Before I turn it over to him, um, is the applicant here? Okay. Uh, this is a public hearing. Is there anyone here that's in opposition to or that would like to make any public comment concerning this um, special land use permit? Okay, let the record show there is none. Mr. Goo, I'm sure you want to turn it over to Mr. Martin. Rusty, please fill us in, please. All right. Uh, good evening. As Ms. Sadler-Jones uh, summarized the, the request for you, uh, the Planning and Zoning Board on, in July voted to, or made a recommendation of approval by a vote of 7-0. Um, Covenant Christian School is seeking to renew an existing special land use permit for their um, modular classroom building. It's approximately uh, 3,800 square feet in size. It has four um, classroom units in it. Uh, it's 56 feet by 68 feet in size, and it's located along the uh, Collier Drive road frontage. This is a subject property, just to give you guys some orientation as to what's going on. If you guys remember, in 2008, uh, Covenant Christian School made the initial application for the special land use permit and uh, for the modular building. Uh, as part of that zoning or that approval, uh, mayor and council tied the, uh, the, the permit to a 24 month period in length. So after 24 months, they had to come back and reapply. So they came back in 2010, 2012, 2014, and 2016. This is the location of the modular building as it sits today out there. And then this is a picture of the site and the building. Community development is uh, reviewed to request. Uh, we recommend approval of the requested modular building and renewal of the special land use permit with the same condition that we've carried forth for the past uh, five requests. With that, I'll be happy to answer any questions. Any questions for Rusty? So the same report you gave two years ago. Five <laughs> years ago, or 10 years ago, every two years. Yeah, two, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good, all right, thank you, Rusty. Uh, well, if the applicants will step forward and tell us who you are and. Good evening. My name is Max Thielen. I'm the president of the Board of Trustees for Covenant Christian School. And with me, I have Dr. Barber, who is our headmaster. Uh, we thank you for your consideration of this application, and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Question for you. Um, purpose of the uh, building, I guess, what's the, what's the function? What do you do with the... Right now we have four classrooms in the building. Uh, we continue to operate the uh, teaching children out of those classrooms and that is our plan for the foreseeable future until we can raise enough money to build the permanent building. I know fundraising takes time and a lot of hard work. Yes, sir. How's that, how's that going for you? Uh, it's going slowly. We're kind of been in a rebuilding phase right now, but it, it, we are optimistically looking toward the future and we think it's going to um, be a success eventually. How many students are you uh, charged with these days? Right. Uh, as of today, our enrollment is 160 students. Okay, good. Any other questions? So in two years, you think I'll be back? Uh, at this point, it looks like we will be back okay. in two years. Now, I've been down there before. You can't really tell uh, that it's a modular building. Um, they, got, they got great uh, teachers and students, and they're also good neighbors to us. Uh, they're right next door to the Bronner Hall, um, and I think fundraising has been tough for everybody, so um, I think we're okay with it for this year. Anybody got any other questions of anyone? Okay, Tim. Mr. Mayor, I move to approve 2018-299 
zoning request Z18-012, approval of special land use permit for a modular classroom building on 8.83 acres, sitting on land lot 595, 596, and 597 at 3130 Atlanta Road, Covenant Christian School. Got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please vote. It's approved seven zero. Thank y'all very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Tim, that was your first one. You did good. Item five, previous licenses. We have none. Item six is formal business, A2018-361. Award RFP number 19-001. This morning, history museum renovation project to the second lowest bidder. Building four fabrications at 3555 Broad Street, Chamley, Georgia, 30341 for $185,000 and authorize the mayor to execute any related documents. Uh, Ms. Uh, Jones, the background, please. The city requested proposals for from qualified firms to provide professional exhibit design, fabrication, and installation services for the redesign of the interpretive exhibits at the Smyrna History Museum. 35 firms requested the RFP and four submitted proposals. The proposals were reviewed and scored by a seven-member staff committee. It is the recommendation of the purchasing manager and the museum manager that the Museum Renovations RFP be awarded to building for fabrica fabrication in the amount of $185,000, and this money will be uh, funded through the fiscal year operating budget. Building for fabrication is the second lowest bidder. The project is expected to be completed in seven months. Uh, Mr. Welch, who chairs that committee. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I don't know of anyone else to call on to give any better explanation of it, but I, I want to give a little background on on this particular project. We approached the uh, the operators of the museum about I don't know, three to four years ago, uh, realizing that um, at some point they were they were losing their volunteers for service, and that uh, Mr. Harold Smith, who was operating the museum. Um, was, was getting older and at some point he would need to turn it over to the city. Um, we worked out an agreement uh, with that group um, and have begun the process of, of arranging items within the museum that we feel like will be used for, for the future exhibits. Um, this is a project that uh, I feel like personally is something that that we as citizens of Smyrna we, we can use and hopefully bring in some classrooms and some children uh, from the elementary schools and middle schools to come in and see, this, uh, see the museum and, and be proud of what they have to look at. Uh, we as citizens should be proud of the museum. Uh, Mr. Smith did a great job for many years, uh, but I look forward to the, uh, to the new museum being there. Essentially, we'll have seven stations within the museum based on a time frame that, uh, that the uh, museum curator has, has set up. and. Uh, Look forward to having the project finished. With that, Mr. Mayor, I make a motion to approve item 6A-2018-361 um, award, award an RFP number 19-001 of the Smyrna History Museum Renovation Project to the second lowest bidder, building for fabrication at 3555 Broad Street, Chamley, Georgia. Uh, for $185,000 and authorize the mayor to execute the related documents. I have a motion to second. Is there any discussion? Mr. Mayor, I just want to make a note that this is a, a seminal moment. I'm not a big fan of purposing uh, things to look backwards exclusively, but it is important to note a moment, a seminal moment in history uh, every so often. And I want to commend Harold Smith, our former mayor, for his long-standing service on behalf of the citizens of Smyrna to try to continue to keep the narrative about our history alive. He collected a lot of artifacts, probably more than will ever be used or seen by others, but 
the fact that he still is walking history and he preserved an awful lot, I say thank you, Mr. Mayor. And to get to this point, I think, where the uh, city hub husbands our responsibility appropriately uh, on uh, recognizing the different chapters of Smyrna history, I wanted to just make note of that. I think uh, Harold did say that uh, Sherman was wearing a blue shirt when he rode through town. So he's, he's seen an awful lot of history here, but uh, this is our opportunity uh, to uh, make the citizens aware of all aspects and all chapters of Smyrna history via an exhibit. Harold may very well be around for the next renovation of this museum. Okay. Any other discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please vote. That's approved five to two with Miss. Bluestein and Ms. Wilkinson uh, voting in the negative. Item um, 6B, 2018-357, award RFP 19-003, City of Smyrna Community Center Roof Replacement to Ben Hill Roofing and Siding Company, Inc., 6811 Bankhead Highway, Douglasville, Georgia, 30134 for the amount of $1 $77,812 and to authorize the mayor to execute any related documents. Ms. Uh, Jones, the background please. The city requested proposals for a complete roof replacement at the Smyrna Community Center. Three proposals were received and one proposal was received late and was not opened. Ben Hill Roofing and Siding Company Incorporated is the only supplier that submitted required documentation and met all criteria within the proposal documents. Staff specifically requested a detailed project schedule and safety plan, along with references confirming installation of roof with similar scope, size, and magnitude. The most responsive and responsible bidder is Ben Hill Roofing and Siding Incorporated. It is the recommendation of the purchasing manager and Public Works that the city award the Community Center Roof Replacement RFP to Ben Hill Roofing and Siding in the amount of $1,077,812 with funding out of the previous year's surplus. This project is expected to be completed in 120 days. Uh, this is uh, under Mr. Welch's committee, Mr. Welch. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <coughs> Um, I, very quick background on this, that roof's 27 years old. We, we hope to get a few more years out of it, but uh, did not work that way. But Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to award item 2018-357, um, award RFP 19-003, City of Smyrna Community Center Roof Replacement to Ben Hill Roofing and Siding Company of 6811 Bankhead Highway, Douglasville, Georgia in the amount of $1,077,812 and to authorize the mayor to execute all related documents. Second. A motion is second to uh, award this to Ben Hill Roofing. Uh, any other discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please vote. Let's prove 7-0. Item C, uh, uh, 6C is 2018-355, uh, approval to purchase six equipped Ford Explorers and two administrative equipped Ford Explorers as part of the FY19 vehicle replacement fund at a total cost of $322,993.90. Vehicle will be purchased through the state contract at Wade Ford at 3860 South Cobb Drive. Smyrna, Georgia, 30082. Ms. Jones, the background, please. The police department budgeted to purchase six Ford Explorer Pursuit Utility Vehicles and two Ford Explorer Adman Vehicles. The vehicles would be purchased using Georgia State contract from Wade Ford, while other needed equipment will come from Diversified Electronics, which is a Cobb County contract that we will piggyback off of, and Insight Public Sector, U.S. Communities Cooperative Contract. Reflective graphic kits will be purchased from Graphic Shop, which is a sole source vendor. 
It is a recommendation of the purchasing manager and the police department that these eight vehicles in total be purchased from Wade Ford with funding from the fiscal year 19 vehicle replacement fund in the amount of $322,000. $923.90. Uh, Mr. Derek Norton. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. As Ms. Sadler-Jones said, this is these are budgeted vehicle replacement uh, for the police department. So if there's no further discussion, I'll make a motion to approve item 6C, 2018-355, approval to purchase six equipped Ford Explorers and two administrative equipped Ford Explorers as part of the fiscal year 19 vehicle replacement fund at a total cost of $322,993.90. This vehicle purchase will be through state contract, Wade Ford at 3860 South Cobb Drive Southeast, Smyrna, Georgia 30082. Second. second. Motion a second. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion, please vote. Approve seven zero. Uh, item seven is commercial building permits. We have none. Item eight is consent agenda. Ms. Jones, will you please read the consent agenda for council's approval? The consent agenda reads as follows. Item A, approval of the August 6, 2018 mayor and council meeting minutes. Item B, approval of the August 2, 2018 committee of the whole meeting minutes. Item C, approval of the August 6, 2018 pre-council meeting minutes. Item D, approval to revise personnel policy EMP 6-01, shift differential pay, and authorize the mayor to execute related document. And item E, approval of the 2019 Smyrna community event dates. Here, motion to approve the consent agenda. Motion to second. All those in favor of the motion, please vote. Approved seven zero. Uh, committee reports will start tonight. Mr. Derek Norton. No report, Your Honor. Thank you. Ms. Bluestein. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, I would like to, um, this is a reminder for high school students to apply for the Smyrna, Smyrna Youth Council. The Smyrna Youth Council is an opportunity for local high school students to engage in a local government leadership opportunity and represent youth in the community. Beginning in October, selected members will meet twice monthly throughout the school year to discuss youth priorities, work on projects, and learn about their local government. Applications are open until this September 12, 2018 at 5 o'clock. Visit the website for more information and a link to the application. Thank you. That's all, Your Honor. Ms. Blackburn. Um, yes, once again, I want to congratulate our Smyrna Little League 11 and under team for doing a, an exceptional job. I'm really proud of them um, and having had the opportunity to watch a, a few of the games. And then also want to just say congratulations to the Smyrna Public Safety Foundation for an incredible gala that they had on Saturday evening. And I believe that they raised a little over $20,000. And with that, I yield. It's Corky Welch. Thank you, Ms. Mayor. Just need to remind everyone that um, the on September the 8th, we're having a shred fest um, at 9 o'clock a.m. at the Eileen Wolf Center uh, where citizens can bring up to five boxes, and this is sponsored by the Keep Smart and Beautiful group. Secondly, uh, uh, also by Keep Smart and Beautiful, there's a grand reopening of the Smyrna Sensory Garden on October the 6th at 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Um, the garden's been restored by the Smyrna Jonquil Garden Club. Um, any of you that are interested in coming out, show up on site that morning. With that, Mr. Mayor, I yield. Uh, Ms. Wilkinson. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I have something to announce from Mary Moore, the director of the Smyrna Library. Um, the library has started a new collection of early literacy materials for parents with babies and toddlers. The collection is called Let's Talk About It, and it includes 10 different kits. Each kit focuses on a theme, such as shapes or colors, and has four board books on the topic as well as an age-appropriate toy or activity. 
Early literacy skills are, de uh, are dependent on babies hearing millions and millions of words. Smyrna Library wants to encourage parents to talk to their babies, and reading books to children is a great way to expose children to words and concepts. These kits are shelved in the youth services area of the library. If all the ki uh, kits are checked out, ask a staff member to help you place a kit on hold. And with that, I yield. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Tim Goo. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I continue to have uh, the opportunity to uh, meet some of the great staff. And last week, uh, met with um, the director of Keeps Winter Beautiful, and then had a nice informative tour of the uh, fire department from Chief Acre and Deputy Chief Marcus. Um, and Chief uh, pointed out several times uh, that we have the number one fire department in the state. And he backed that up with all sorts of stats. But one thing, um, so it was very informative and, and uh, I appreciate their time. Uh, but Keep Smyrna Beautiful uh, is offering um, $1,000 grants to all of our public schools. And all they need to do is really fill out the grant form. Um, so I'm sure that's a pretty easy process if they're willing to do it. Um, but it's $1,000 grants that are available and um, through, uh, throughout the school year. With that, I yield. Thank you. Mr. Ron Fennell. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I just want to add my congratulations earlier uh, offered for the Smyrna Public Safety Foundation on a, a successful event, raising money to help support the programs of the public safety community, uh, helping our uh, young people in the community and helping uh, with education throughout the city. Uh, <clears throat> I want to also congratulate Brian Marcos on his uh, recent uh, successful uh, election to a statewide post within the the fire service. Um, I want to note that uh, the last few days we've had coyote sightings in the area and I know that uh, some of our pets are at risk so I ask you to ar urge you to share with your constituents caution. Just recognize that uh, that is a, an enforcement component by the State Department of Natural Resources for the others for pet related activity. Uh, our Cobb County Animal Services, and we met with them last Thursday night, provides um, ready information and support services. And if you need more information, any of the members of council or the staff can share with you how you can get in touch with the appropriate person if you have a, a challenge uh, with coyotes or uh, unruly pets that might be causing problems. I just saw a news episode about uh, one of my constituents down in Ward 7, down on the uh, uh, Riverline Park area concerned about the coyotes. So just be aware that we are encroaching on their original territory and so when they get hungry, they come looking for uh, food. Um, one last thing, it's, uh, it's about to be playoff time for the Atlanta Braves. Now notwithstanding the last four games they played with the Colorado Rockies, they're still uh, at the top of the uh, Eastern Division, so let's root on our hometown folks. We're going to win the World Series right here in Smyrna, Georgia very soon. Let's hope it's starting this year. With that, I yield, Mr. Mayor. All right. Ms. Jones, you have anything? Well, I just wanted to remind the public that city offices will be closed on Monday, September 3rd in observance of Labor Day. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Cochran. Ms. Graham. Nothing. Uh, the next item on the agenda is uh, show cause hearings. We do not have anything tonight. Citizens input, no one signed up. So if there's no other business brought for this body, I declare this meeting adjourned at 733.